So I'm getting a lot more pictures of uh, wall clouds coming out of areas. Um, and again, can you explain the, the whole wall cloud so let me, phenomenon? Actually, I can explain that real quickly. So as I widen this out, let me show you real quickly what I'm talking about. So how tornadoes typically form is, you know, we've got this diagram here. You've got strong winds aloft and at the surface, but they're coming from two different directions. And what happens is you get these horizontal rolls. Um, this happens a lot. Now, these horizontal rolls, uh, any gusty, windy day, you're going to get one of these. But when we get strong updrafts, and that's why the updraft is so important in those lightning jumps, because it tells me the strong updraft is developing, it takes those horizontal rolls and it tilts it on its side and you get rotation. And so what happens, the first thing that lowers is the wall cloud. You see that little lowering and it can even be rotating. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. That lowering uh, is what we call a wall cloud and then the tornado will drop out of that. That is kind of like the setup. So earlier today, you see the wind shear in the morning I wake up and I go, ooh, we've got this wind shear set up west of Charlotte. We've got to watch and then as the day goes on, you see the updrafts develop and then in real time, you'll see those lightning jumps and the rest of this unfold. 